talk to me about your guy Denzel Curry because uh, I remember yeah. I remember the name from his uh, 2016 XXL. Uh, you can check out our uh, take on that SoundCloud.com slash Nostalgia Pod. Um, and I was really surprised by this album just because I wasn't that into him, and I left feeling like this kid, this kid, this guy has a really strong career ahead of him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so Denzel Curry's third album, Taboo, dropped last Friday. Stylized what? T A thirteen zero zero. Don't I don't think anyone knows why he's doing it that way, but Taboo anyway. <laughs> and yeah, I mean Denzel Curry. I've been a fan ever since I really found out about him, and yeah. He, he was on the XXL 2016, but he wasn't the most famous guy on that list. That was the year for 21 and Uzi and Kodak and Yachty and Little Dicky and Designer, you know, all guys bigger than him. Mm. So he kind of flew under the radar with that. Um, but he's been good and everyone's been fucking with him because he's yet another uh, firebrand out of fucking Florida. He's from Miami and he's someone who came up as part of the Raider clan, uh, which headed by Space Ghost Perp. That's one of the first, you know, soundcloud collectives and they collaborate with asap mob early on um that's how they uh you know kind of broke on the scene and then denzel broke off from that and went solo and you know it, it's funny that because he actually cla was clapping back at uh, uh smoke perp for saying when smoke perp said he started soundcloud rap and denzel's like you spell raider clan wrong dog like it was us <laughs> <laughs> but either way <laughs> he's been around for a while and he's always been really interesting i don't think he has any one good project per se like there's always been like a lot of good stuff on there but nothing was really as cohesive as taboo and i mean imperial has probably really, really popped off for um ult and naughty head with like ross he's just got a bunch of bangers seen you know, with the joy badass mm -hmm. and then his biggest hit today it's actually off of uh, one of his eps it's called ultimate from 2015 uh, you'd recognize the beat event if you heard it and you know, coming into this you know we just kind of wanted to see like what will denzel curry like do because he obviously like thinks about it and he he's not using trap production he's not talking about all the drugs and the money he spends he never has but like what is next for him and right. have taboo come out an album where like it's kind of a concept album right there's the three mm. uh, state tracks in the album right the dark the yeah. gray and, and the black the gray and the white i think is what mm. he's calling it and i was really impressed with this just because it was just basically more of what we get from denzel curry what we expect from him the rapid fire flows the aggressive de uh, delivery and just more of that more variety um but there's like all the different cadences he would do, whether he would switch up his flow mid song. Uh, he would almost like sing some of his choruses in a sense, but it was really just kind of switching up how he was rapping. I was really impressed. And obviously the energy's there, but also I think there's like some really cool lyrics in here, like, um, mm -hmm. like perks. That's an open attack against all the druggy culture and rap. Yeah. And, you know, songs like black is balloon and, um, the lead song lead single cloud cobain like i think there's there's so much here and i really gotta listen to it again because i think it's pretty dense but i was really impressed yeah i think there's a lot of um i, I mean i think there's a lot of great things that, and you touched on most of them I, I think the thing that i was most taken aback by was just how um uh, like you talked about his cadences but i think there's an intensity that comes through as he raps and as he delivers his lines that um he doesn't need to do it through like shouting or you know kind of the ways like some of his contemporaries like xxx i think sometimes there's times you just be basically mm -hmm. like screamo you know in a way mm -hmm. but he can deliver that feeling just through his voice which i, I think is great um and i i thought the another thing that was great about it was that it was really layered production the songs were um like very intricate the beats and there was a lot of like things going on that uh like he'd have like some like pianos in the background layered by like some not really trap but different like sort of drum beats throughout and it was it just was really uh, a, a delight to listen to i listened to it twice this weekend because i wanted to get the feel in uh, in the headphones and in the car and in the car i thought it was phenomenal so definitely something to ride to for sure yeah i agree um the only song i didn't really like was sirens i thought that was where he went too singy i was like that's a miss like you know Mm -hmm. kudos for trying it but no i don't think that worked but yeah other songs as sumo which was another lead single mm -hmm. that's just an ultimate like let me spit my shit as fast as possible yep. you know banger and i thought switch it up another one which is really cool where as the title implies he switches it up in the song so i think denzel curry he's you know i don't think this is going to have big numbers first week um like he's he's big on the internet rap fans yep. know him but he's not mainstream by any means so um you know, he's someone I like to tell people about just because I think he surprised anyone who listens to him. But um, 
yeah, he's much like we talked about, like, you know, to a lesser extent with Wi Fi's funeral, but Denzel Curry, I think, is even more obvious where these are guys that even if they're not super big or super mainstream, you can tell they're going to have a long career just because they have, they're actually really trying with the music they're making, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. He's going to be a solid artist for a while. Probably just to shout it, shout it out. Probably my favorite song on it was balloons, uh, black balloons. One mm-hmm. of the, the second song, of the album really just uh, caught my ear. So uh, check that out. And we already put uh, both songs from Santa gold and Denzel Curry on our uh, best of playlist. So that's nostalgia best of 2018 on Spotify. Uh, please follow and share with your friends.